Integrating Adobe Analytics and Adobe Audience Manager is nice and easy, especially when using Launch by Adobe. The following video will walk you through what the steps are necessary to actually get these two products fully integrated in a bi-directional, server-side forwarded, powerful way. The first step that you want to do is make sure that you're using Launch by Adobe in order to deploy Adobe Analytics, just like I have here in this sample uh, property. Next you'll want to familiarize yourself with all of the details that are listed in the server-side forwarding area that are described in the Adobe Knowledge Base. Keep in mind that, of course, you'll need access to Adobe Analytics, Adobe Audience Manager, and the Experience Cloud ID service in order to have them fully integrated. Once you have those three tools up and running, here are the steps for deploying the server-side forwarding capabilities to send all of the hits from Adobe Analytics automatically server-side to Adobe Audience Manager in order to enable the Audience Analytics integration. The first step is in the Adobe Analytics Admin Console. Here in the Admin Console, you can head to your Report Suites Configuration section within the Admin and then highlight your Report Suite and head on down to General, Edit Settings, General, and then server-side forwarding, which I've already loaded on this page. If it's not already checked like it is here on mine, you can go ahead and click this checkbox and save. That will enable your report suite to begin receiving data and sending data on over to Audience Manager for server-side forwarding capabilities. The next step you'll want to do is capture the partner code name, which is the specific name of your Audience Manager instance. If you've never captured this before, one way to get it would be to work with your customer success manager or account manager in order to get those details. Another way, if you have access to Adobe Audience Manager, is to click Tools and then head on down to Tags. Once you get to Tags, you'll see a default container, just as I have list listed here. And when you click the HTML embed get code function or link here, you'll see that there's the option to see the actual code that if you weren't using a tag management system like launched by Adobe, that you would have to place on every page of your site. Instead, you can see all of this code really uh, goes down to two specific lines. And the important line is taking a look at this one right here, cdn.demdex.net with a directory following that. In my instance, it's Matisoft, but in yours, it will certainly be different. That subdirectory, Matisoff, or whatever it is on your screen, is the partner code that you will want to save. So keep that in mind for later. Next, what you'll want to do is head on over to the page that you're looking to implement um, this server-side forwarded deployment of Audience Manager from your Adobe Analytics tag. You can see I've actually refreshed the page, and I've applied a filter in Chrome DevTools to just Adobe Analytics tags by including a B forward slash SS. When I, once I've done that, I can click the item that shows. This helps me feel confident that the data I'm sending is being sent to the right place. Now, by default, headers will show you all of the Adobe Analytics specific information, but in order to confirm that server-side forwarding has not yet been enabled, you can click Preview here. If nothing shows within preview, then you're ready for server-side forwarding to be set up. The next step is to actually perform the integration within Launch by Adobe. I've pulled up the Adobe Analytics extension by clicking Configure. And when I do that, you'll see all of the different capabilities for deploying Adobe Analytics and the library there. But all the way at the bottom, there's an accordion for Adobe Audience Manager. This is how you can automatically share analytics data, data with Audience Manager. So this replaces the Audience Manager tag or module that you may have previously had before. So if before you were using this tag that we were looking at earlier, or if before you were using a Audience Manager specific module in your S code, you can remove both of those. And instead, just simply click this checkbox and then you'll want to add in your partner code or your audience manager partner subdomain, which in my instance was Matisoff. 
Once I've done that, I can save to my library and build. Now that the build has completed, we can head back on over into the page that I was looking to check. And just as a reminder, we do not have an uh, audience manager deployed on this page because there's nothing located in the preview section. When I perform a complete refresh of the page, a hard refresh, now we can take a look at the same tag and click preview and you'll see this complete list of all these different items that are sharing via postback straight on over to Audience Manager. This is how you can confirm that you have set everything up properly. And that's all there is to it.